In India, New Year's Day is celebrated on different days in different states. In Singapore, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong hopes that this special day can be celebrated by all Indians here together. These events help to bring our community together so that young Indians can understand their roots, so that new citizens and immigrants can bond with the locals, and so that other communities can understand and enjoy the rich and diverse Indian culture. He was speaking at Rhythms in Unity, an annual Indian New Year celebration at Ching San Community Club on Saturday. The Tamil New Year was celebrated on April 13th. Indeed, such events have helped new citizens to bond with other residents in Amokyo. Is this your first time here? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, first time attending the uh, PA event like this. How is your experience so far? I like that event, like a children's event and um, for um, uh, like a poem competition, uh, uh, fancy dress drawing competitions. And uh, I can see some very good dances uh, going behind. It's so, like a Bharatanatyam, Kadak. I like, uh, I like the classic uh, dance from India. Have you made any new friends today? Uh, yeah, I, I met some uh, nice people from uh, in Singapore, so I like them very much. Before you came, did you know that uh, there are so many different Indian New Year's? Uh, I don't know at all. This is the first time that I visit these type of activities. So I realized that uh, the difference between the Tamil as well as the Indian. What stands out to you today? The program. Uh, the program is quite attractive. Uh. You know, you got the different dance everything as well. The event was also an opportunity to showcase the diversity and richness of Indian culture. Take Priya and Brinta, for example. The sisters have been practicing Bharatanatyam, a traditional dance from South India since they were four years old and performed at the event. Uh, we want to help uh, improve our culture, to uphold our culture in the society because we feel that it's going down. Yeah. In what way is it going down? Like nowadays, a lot of them are not wearing their traditional costumes. They're more talking in English than our normal language, and nobody is upholding these traditions and stuff. So yeah. So you see uh, today's event as one of the ways you can um, spread awareness about Indian culture. Yeah, it's, it's a way we can spread our Indian culture, and and also it's actually a message to all teenagers that we should also uphold our culture. About 700 residents turned up and participated in Indian cultural activities such as henna tattoo painting, 